Right, okay, here we go. It's been a while, to be fair. Um, last time we uploaded Journey of Wrestling was probably two weeks ago by this point. Um, in reality, though, last time I probably actually played it was probably a month ago, because I did a couple of them all in one shot. So, yeah. Anyway, weekly show after No Way Out, we get ever so close, closer, I should say, to WrestleMania. Two more episodes away. This episode, next episode, and then obviously the episode after next will be WrestleMania. So, there we go. Done pretty well so far. No Way Out was pretty good. Um... At least I think it was. I'm pretty sure it was. If we check back, actually, because I can't remember. It's been, it's been a while. We could actually rebrand. What? Okay. Um, I need to try that. I, I, it's funny. I actually just noticed that right now. So there you go. Um, check what happened in No Way Out. Tagman Chinook could defeat Miguel Perez Jr. in open chance to retain the Light Heavyweight Championship. China grabbed the cucumber off the pole with the Fiend Goldust in the God Hates You storyline. I fucking remember shit now. Yep. China, Goldust, Cucumber on pole. Fucking great story ton. Beautiful story ton. Headbangers defeat Nation of Domination to win the tag titles. Right, Headbangers became the one contenders. I remember that. Triple H Invader, that rivalry continues for the European title. It will ultimately conclude at WrestleMania. Owen Hart and Shawn Michaels will conclude at Mania, and so will Rock and Austin. And so is Austin and Owen Hart defeating Rock and HBK in the main event in that tag team match. So... Um, I don't really want to continue a whole lot of rivalries. Obviously, China and Goldust is going to be Mania. That's going to continue. This is going to continue. And then these two rivalries are also going to continue into Mania. A whole lot of rivalries will conclude at Mania. But not this one. Headbangers, Nation Domination, will try to find something else for them. Uh, no more contenders match, I guess. We'll do the trick. And then that rivalry will end at the pay-per-view after Mania, which I want that is. Um... So, yeah, now we go and check ACW, actually. They had Cyber Slam. Shane Douglas will defeat Boss Mahoney. Sandman defeats Axel Rodden. Devon will defeat Tommy Rogers. Sabu defeats Jerry Lynn to retain the World Heavyweight Championship. Justin Krebel and Tommy Dreamer, better wrestler angle. Taz will defeat Bubba. And the ECW TV title will main event. Taz has been getting that push ever since the beginning. And WCW here, Super Brawl. Dave Boy Smith will defeat Steve Mongo and Michael. Kevin Nash will defeat Who and Tude Guerrero. Um, Iron Man match, I guess, 5 to 4. Um, Raven's Flock defeat the Destruction Crew. Phases of Fear, High Voltage. Not other members of the Flock, Los Villanos, I guess. Um, Hogan defeats Luger. Steiner Brothers will defeat Public Enemy. Randy Savage will defeat Bret Hart to retain the World Heavyweight Championship. Heart Foundation will defeat Vicious and Delicious. Big Show defeats Eddie Guerrero to retain the Cruiserweight title because fuck logic. And Ric Flair will defeat Kurt Hank to retain the United States Championship. Damn, um, oh, wow, okay. Um, three and a half star show. I didn't check ECW's or my star show. I probably checked this to end off last episode, but I forgot. It's been a while since then, actually. Uh, three star show from ECW. That's probably the best show yet, actually. And obviously, we probably got like a five star show. Yes, we did five stars, exactly. So. Um, no need to brag, but we're doing pretty fucking good. Right, so anyway. Uh, we need to do that number one contenders match before it's out of my mind. And before I forget about. So, it's, uh, I don't think there's a gimmick for a number one contenders match. Oh, wait, 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 there's not. I can just do it myself, right, right. It's been a while, I forgot shit. Um, so who are we going to give it to? Both members of the nation... Give the DOA another shot, I guess. You know, the Outlaws, last time we had them in the rivalry, it didn't work out too well. Obviously, the Outlaws and the Nation was our most shittiest rivalry. Uh, let's just do Legion of Doom. Maybe the Outlaws. DOA, probably. We've done this before, so, yeah. Um, another all generic, like, multi man tag match. Let's add in the nation as well, actually. So, do multi. Unless we gotta redo this now. Yeah, we have to redo this. Okay. It's been a while. It's been a while. I kind of forgot some shit. It's slowly coming back to me. Don't worry. Not to mention, we only got four things to do for the show. So, we need to 
two matches, two segments, basically. Long time, man. There we go. It's going to be difficult to progress since we have a whole lot of rivalries now. Takuma Chinoko is not going to do anything on 2 Mania, to be fair. We just haven't hold another open challenge for the light heavyweight title, I guess. Um, so, yeah. Headbangers is going to face the Headbangers. Um, Legion of Doom. Outlaws. Both members of the Nation of Domination. Because only The Rock is doing stuff for the Nation. Everyone else in the Nation is not really all that important. Well, at least so far. Um, and let's add that. That's I'm not sure that's gonna be the main event or not actually. Um, but we shall see. So we also got Vader, Triple H, the China Goldust thing. China and Goldust could be progressed next week, perhaps. Um, we shall see. So we do an unlikely partners thing, which counts as a segment, but it'll it'll count as a match actually. So that's. Yeah, book segments, and so obviously these are the rivalries we're working with. Already said this, so we could progress only two of these by this point. Oh, well, three of them actually. One with a segment, and then two of them with a match, I guess. Or two of a segment and one with a match, since we already have a match going on here. Um, but the thing I have planned will basically count as a matching those as segments, and I need to try to find it here. It's feuds. And it is there. We got unlikely partners. We've done this before with Rock and Austin, I think. So let's do it with someone else. Uh, Goldust in China. That'll be a a comedic thing to do. We should probably be doing more comedic stuff with Goldust in China, actually. So you know what? Actually, wait, 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 wait. Uh, silly. How about that? Major person. We've done that before with Rock and Austin. Um, F it. Sure. Slam surprise, Goldust, China, um, intensity three. Fuck it, it's very intense. Um, China's more popular at this point, so let's book that. Hell yeah, and that's gonna be the kick off the show. We kick off the show with that type of shit. I am gonna burn this motherfucker through the ground. I am worse than Vince Russo at this point. We really did a cucumber and a pole match. So I'm pretty sure I've become Vince Russo at this point. Pretty sure I have. Because we've done a pole match. Uh, we're going to go bankrupt. Even though we're very close to beating WCW by this point. Anyway, um, so we could progress Vader. Tri- well, we could progress them on our tag team situation, I guess. To help out. Yeah, why not? So Vader, Triple H, Stone Cold Rock, Owen Michaels. One of them will be their own separate thing. A promo attack. The all generic promo attack will be one of them. So let's, yeah, let's do it here. Owen oh, Sean. Because we've done Vader, Triple H, and Rock and Austin in promo attacks before. So let's do Owen oh, Sean. I don't think we've done that before. Intensity will be two. Um, and let's actually try to get that one now. Feuds. Push up contest. That's more like for Scott Steiner and Triple H in 2003 or 2002, which are no way out 2002. Was it 2003? It was 2003. All right, anyway. But yeah, that's, that's more for Steiner and Triple H if we even get that far into this. I'm probably going to stop when we get to next year's Mania. Not this Mania, because that will be too short of a series. But we'll stop when we get to the next Mania. Um, we could actually do one of these, actually. So, no, previous friends. That's more like Michaels and Triple H. Car destruction, we've done that before, and that wasn't really the greatest for the nation. Over there. So, we've already done the promo ambush, so... Oh, we've already done it for them as well, so there you go. Um, contract signing, I guess. Did, I'm pretty sure we already did this, so I'm not sure. No, I don't think we have, actually. There's contract sign. Give the row to Sean here. Main row. We'll give it to Owen when it gets more popular. We, could, we probably could do it with Owen, but then again, probably won't be as good. So, for now, it's just going to be... Shawn Michaels. We could do it with Owen, though, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to risk it. If we do it with Shawn, it'll be better. So, let's book that. Um, that should actually kick off the night, now that I think about it. Contract. No, it makes more sense to actually end off the night, if anything. Yeah. But I want to have a segment in between. So, I guess we could do a match to kick off the night by this point. 
Got one more thing left. So let's, yeah, yeah, sure. Let's do that tag match to start off the night, I guess. I still don't know why the red circles appear in before at one point. If you guys check back an older video from like 2017, 2K MT Central draft, this didn't have the red circle. Now it does for a screen recorder. I don't know why. Anyway, tag team, um, 2v2 singles. Um, so, it's like the Rock and Austin thing from No Way Out. This and things going to be different. This is basically very lazy booking, but there's nothing else like everything about. Not to mention, both of which are extremely over. Everyone in here is extremely over, so that, that works. So, we're going to do Stone Cold and Vader. They're the two faces. They take on Triple H. And The Rock, who's still relatively upper mid card. He's increased a little bit, right? 85. Um, yeah, he's increased. He's going to become main veteran by Mania. If we make him go over, which at this point, I don't know who I want to go over at Mania for Rock and Austin. I know who I want to go over for everything else. Everything else I have a plan for. Except for Rock and Austin. I don't know who I want to go over. Makes more sense to make it be The Rock. To make him more popular. It's not going to really hurt Austin all that much. Since this rivalry has been one of the best things going for us. Probably the best thing going for us. Um, so there we go. That's our show. You know. It's nothing really too special. Um, it's pretty. It's pretty all generic booking. With the tag match. Especially since No Way Out. We had that type of tag match. Just something of Stone Cold and Owen. Versus Triple H and Michaels. Wait no it wasn't. It was. <laughs> That's uh, no, no, it was Stone Cold and Owen versus Rock and Michaels. There we go. So yeah, pretty much lazy booking on our parts, but whatever. It's gonna it's gonna work. Hopefully, I think. I'm not sure. Here we go. Let's see what happens here. Kick off the night. Um, Vader's lost too many times to Triple H here, so it makes sense to make Rock and Austin. I mean. Austin and Vader go over. Let's just see what the CPU has to do. I don't care who wins, actually. Let's go in the base Stone Cold Invader. Fine. China and Gold does a big veiled box up in the ring. Um, Gold does, I guess, will open it. Unless it will be China opens it. I think it's supposed to be Gold that's open it. Gold has invited China to the ring. Promise and special gift to thank. And the box turned out to be empty and the load of slime poured onto China. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, we probably should have done China doing that at Gold now because that's okay. Moving on. Moving on, nothing happened. Bloopers, bloopers, bloopers. Probably should have made China do that to go with us. Okay. Anyway, simulate. Nothing happened. The nation wins. Um, don't know who, which one that was. Was that? That was probably the nation. Which nation was that? I didn't, I didn't pay attention. Nation won. Which one's that? Dilo Brown and Mark Henry, I think. Is it Dilo and Henry? Um, passed by what's pass. Anyway. Sean Michaels and Hart sitting across the table in the ring with a contract between them. Let's make Owen Hart do the action here. They both signed contract and go for Andrew. Well, Hart strikes Sean Michaels before putting him through the table. Yes, that's good. That's that's what we wanted. Want Owen Hart to be the aggressor here. Even though Michaels is obviously the heel. But yes, that start. That's good. Vader starting to get over the fans. I thought he was already over. Oh, Vader 71. I thought he was higher last time around. Um, Rock is now 89. So, of course... Going very well. Stone Cold is 104. Triple H is 96. Yeah, we're doing very well here. So it's once again, it's like our tag matches are just horrible. Anything that the nation and the outlaws are in just fucking sucks in general, sadly. It's roughly three stars. Contract signed. Let's do this one actually. So that was more than five, as you see there. More than five again. These are all like over five, like that is just amazing. This one's over five, like all of them are over five. Then this, this one's right here that's relatively three stars. Um, all together brings in a five, a quarter of five, I guess. Not five and a quarter. I know I've made a mistake saying five and a quarter or like a quarter of anything before in the past, and I've kind of fucked up and made myself sound like native because that's not what a quarter is here. Quarter of five, I guess. I don't fucking know. Math is not my strong suit. Matters anything that consists of numbers. Besides statistics. I guess. Anyway, so there we go. 
And the uh, golem show for me, and we get six total booking spots, so that's good. We could progress everything this time around, and maybe even do some for good old Taka Michinoku. Shall see what happens there. Um, it was the First Nation, so let's check actually, so we could know. Let's book a match. There we go. Well, we're not gonna do it now for this episode, but we're just gonna check here. Tag team. Who was the First Nation? It was. Fruk and Godfather. Oh, Dilo and Henry is the Second Nation. Okay. Got it. So, Fruk and Godfather would challenge Headbangers for Attack Tiles and Mania. Well, there you go. Let's check what. WWE needs to be got, and then that's this where we shall end off this episode by this point. Of course, we got that. Don't really need to look at that anymore. Well, again, WCW Nitro, Red Flair defeats Karnak R9, five star match, and then relatively four star top foundation with defeat Steinbrush. All in all, four, a quarter of four, I guess. I don't fucking know. Anyway, ECW now, Hardcore TV, Axe Around defeats the Sandman, Find the Darkness. Does that have to do with drugs? Because if it does, too soon. Way too fucking soon. Uh, one star. Godric Sign, Jalen Sabu, five stars. Wish brings in together a measly quarter of two stars. Yeah, East W, uh, they're not doing too good. They've had a couple of solid shows. If anything, I think they should be higher than what they are. They, what, yeah, than what they actually are. Um, but they're not. I mean, obviously, they should be, once again, the worst out of all three promotions, but they should be a little bit higher and not that low if you ask me, but that show, uh, that show just proves it. Nitro didn't do fucking anything, nor did ECW, but Nitro ended up having a great Ric Flair match once again. Because that what Ric Flair does now, if we, there we go. Wait, gold, yeah, sure it goes. Because we still haven't done this. Uh, create a trio of Animal, Baby Gun, and Gold does make the main eventers. Um, I don't want to do that. I really don't want to do that. That's supposed to be realistic. <laughs> Not funny. Okay, well, it's supposed to be funny to an extent. But I don't know how I'm going to build up Animal, Billy Gun and Goldust and make them fucking main eventers. Obviously, it makes sense to have all three of them be heel, which they probably all are. Not sure about Animal, though. Um, Not sure about Animal. But ain't no way they're going to be taken serious. At all. So that's probably not going to happen. Win one best end, one year end awards, no bad awards. We're probably going to win the bad award. Probably the tag team rivalry that we started off with, with the Nation and the Outlaws, because that was pretty shitty. It was pretty underwhelming, sadly. So that's probably going to be a bad award. Um, I know the year end awards are in November, usually. Yeah, they're all in November. I've played a couple of saves, obviously, off camera. And not to mention the TNA Thousand Ten one that I, on, that I stopped after two episodes. Maybe three episodes, maybe four. Uh, probably two or three. But yeah. Now we're going to fans here. This is actually why I want to check the whole time. They are stale as hell. Holy hell. 3.6k. Well, um, we are slowly... Well, um, last... I do remember last time we were... Oh, wait, no, no. I was about to say. I could have sworn the last time we were higher than what we were. Um, but no, I'm talking about this. They're 88, we're 85. I didn't... I was thinking about company rep. 57 point, well, 57,177. We got 48,973. Close to close to 49,000, I should say. Um, WrestleMania is going to do it for us. Mania is going to make us go way higher than WCW. And then all 21, we get to next year's Mania, the 1999 Mania. Um, I'm not sure how, how far we're, we're going to go into this. Um, probably can stop at next year's Mania. Maybe not. Not not really too sure. We we shall see what happens there. Yeah, probably next year's Mania. But yeah, there we go. And activity, nothing really going on there, so... Yeah, that's pretty much it. Next episode will be the go-home show before WrestleMania. Shall catch you all in that video. Thank you all for watching, and goodbye. Hey, cool, you guys made it to the end screen. Thank you. So, if you guys really did enjoy this video, then please like, subscribe, turn on notifications, you know, all that cliche YouTube shit. I need to say that. I'm a YouTuber, so I need to fucking say it. So, yeah, that would be very much appreciated. And also, you guys could also click one of these art playlists that have other shitty content on it. Thank you.